Alrighty, everybody, welcome back to the Hunter Classic. We are out here today once again on Timber Gold Trails. We are going to be doing yet another competition series video. I know it's a little odd to have the same thing back to back, but I'm sure you can hear it. We've got ourselves a new dog. This is Rebel. She's a female scent hound. We've already got some mule deer calling at us, but that is the type of competition we're in. It is called the heavy hitter. I am in the intermediate category, and it is the average weight of my top three heaviest mule deer will count as my competition entry. Highest average wins. The competition ends at 2 a.m. on, I believe, June 6th is what it said. Um, there are five players in right now who have a score. You have five attempts total. And the score to be at the moment is 111. Plus some, you know, change, obviously. But we're out here. I'm trying to get to a point where I've seen other people with a mule deer set up. So we're going to aim for where my waypoint is. But instead of following the road and making this whole thing easy, we're going to actually follow this road to the river. And then we're going to follow the river north. Just in case I run across some better spots. But... Without further ado, let's get out there, get hunting. I'll see you out there. It's kind of weird that they have a level zero. Oh, hi. <laughs> just like my own dogs in real life, just all up under my feet and tripping me as I walk. Where'd you go? There you are. There's a mule deer, so maybe I can stick a tree stand in one of these. I'll be able to get him closer. Yeah, he's got a good weight to him. Just over. Just over him. <sighs> oh, so close. <sighs> of course you move. I'm not camouflaged. Now I am. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty. <sighs> oh, so close. wait for him to get a little closer. <sighs> That'll do. No, I guess not. 112. So if I get the other mule deer this size or bigger, I could be in first place. Oh, we're gonna keep following this river. We're gonna keep heading north until we get to where I wanna put the tree stand. Now this competition does have one, I don't know if I would even call it a limitation, but it does have one definite rule. It has to be in single player, so I can't open this up into a multiplayer and hunt mule deer with anybody else. It has to be single player. But I don't see that as much of a restriction, as much as it's just a little less fun, because then I don't get to hang out with a friend while I do it, but that's alright. 
Because I know wherever I end up setting up, I want to have the, like, a water crossing right in front of where I set up. That way it's not like the animals have to, you know, go around a little bit to cross the water to come into the collar. I'd like them to be able to cross right at me. Kind of like I have this one set up as, where there's a water crossing directly at that tree. Alrighty, so it is raining, and we didn't quite make it up to where I planned to be, which is up this way, but I found a good spot to set up. So we've grabbed another tent and another tree stand and put it in our inventory, that way we can hopefully place another one on the river. But I've got a buck over here. He called, I was able to spot him, and he's got another really good weight estimate, that 100 to 120 kg mark. His score's not great. But I'm gonna sit tight, get him called in, get him over here, and we'll take a shot and hope that he's another, you know, 110 plus kg. Alrighty, so it looks like our buck has just made it across the water. He's at 48 meters and getting closer. With the direction he's coming in, hopefully I'll be able to take a shot at him. Oop. Not sure where. Maybe there would be ideal. Because I can't shoot downwards over here. And I can't see him right now either. Him to walk this way. I need him to not spook for my dog. you get out of here? Oh, we got it. I finished the first pack of arrows. Get down. I don't want to pick him up. I want to see if I can't pick the track of blood up. my dog to track it. No, just knocks it around. Okay. So it seems like she'll just kind of circle the area and bark. deer coming in. I see four bucks. Hold on. Ooh, he's a good weight. What about you? You're not so good of a weight. There's two more back there. I think we're just gonna get back in the stand and we're gonna sit tight. If they come in far enough apart, I might be able to get more than one. Oh, hello. Wait a minute. What's your weight? 80 to 105. What's your weight? You look like a light. 80 to 105. You? 115 to 135. That's another good one to get. Mm. 
What did you all spook from? Was it my dog? Oh no, there's still one here. One more coming up over the hill. Oh no, he's spooked. What did you what did you bark for? Oh, maybe my dog, like, alerts to the animals when it's a low level. Dang. Alright, well, we put the dog away so it doesn't alert anymore. I didn't know the dog would bark at him, so I'm gonna sit here and wait for, like, ten minutes for them all to calm down and then start coming back into the call. Alrighty, so it looks like out of those first 10 bucks, they're all starting to come back. They're no longer spooked. But this is the first guy to make it back to me. Gave him a Rudolph nose. Sure looks like it. But he's the only one who crossed the river. All the other ones should be coming back from this direction. I like that they're coming back staggered so far because that means that I have a better chance of getting more of them. But they also seem to be coming back faster. Like you're walking into the call faster. Hoping for heart, that's why. Hi bud. I'd like you to get a little closer. And either give me full straight on or like full broadside, no in between. I'll take this. <sighs> You're gonna have to lay down, aren't you? You're gonna stare right at me. Staring contest. You are my last arrow in this pack, bud. <sighs> I like let my dog out, took a little break. And it seems to have worked. <laughs> They all seem to have come around. Perfect. I gotta figure out which one's which for the weights. You're not the weight that I want. Front guy. You're not the weight that I want. Guy in the back looks chunky. You're the weight that I want.
If I drop shot him. <sighs> oh, perfect. I just missed. Just missed. Well, that was perfect to come back to. Um, we're gonna pick him up now. We're gonna start with one that I know is the biggest. Weight-wise. Then we'll just kind of pick the rest of them up. Oh, we missed one. Hey, he's too far gone to spot now. So you... For 129, that's a good weight. 181, not bad. So now, I think if I just pick up any one of these guys, I'll have a good weight. But we're just going to pick them all up because it's the highest average, so I've already got two really good ones. 84, so you're low. 102, you're higher. We're already in slot number one with an average of 114. Ninety-two. This won't change our score at all. This is a doe. I think that's it from that angle. I got this guy. Eighty-one. Neck to the heart. This guy. 74. This guy might be a heavier one. 113. That could increase the average. That does. 118. So we are still in slot number one. We're just giving ourselves a little bit bigger of a gap. Doe. I should have one more buck over here and a doe, and then I think that's it. But I'm going to get in the stand just so I have a better view of the area to find out. Doe. And this buck. And then after that, I'm gonna move further north. 96. Nah. Good, but not that. Not as good as some of the other ones. But I'm gonna hop up in the stand, check over the area just to make sure I've picked everything up that was nearby. Then we'll keep following the river north. And then get up here, get in the lodge, and go see what we got. Put up this piebald. Not really all that rare, but you know, it was something to put there. We've got our 16 plus puma and our 15.8 wolf next to each other now. We've got my piebald whitetail. We have a 165 whitetail, which so far I don't think he's actually my biggest. He's just the biggest that I had taxidermized. My biggest muley at 212. Biggest black bear at 21.9, my non-typical. A lot of you guys have seen most of these. If you've been in and out of streams, both on Twitch and on YouTube, we specifically stream classic on Twitch every Saturday, starting at 10 a.m. Central. Where we usually make sure that we make a stop in here, if not to put something new in that we've gotten. If we got where is he at? What do we put in here? We got the piebald whitetail on a Saturday in between streams because I did an extra stream. We got that feral hog this past Saturday when we were streaming. So yeah. If you guys want to swing by any of my Saturday classic streams over on Twitch, I would much appreciate it. Say hi, pop in. Let me know that you're coming over from YouTube. It's the same username over there, Games with Bree. But without further ado, I'm going to wrap the video up here. I appreciate you all hanging out with me today. Have a wonderful rest of your day. As usual, you know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe. 
pretty typical stuff there, but I will see you in the next video, which ideally is coming out Wednesday this week. But Tuesday we will be streaming here on YouTube approximately noon Central Standard Time, but I'll see you then. Bye!